Hey there, YouTube. Before we get started, please smash that subscription button. Really helps me. We got a unique one today. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fixing to glue that up. That's walnut, maple, and paduke. I'm gonna make two discs out of that. And I'm gonna practice right now on just a regular old piece of wood. I've already got it glued on. That's just basically super glue, CA glue. Um, attaching the piece, once I get it cut down, I'll just break it off and sand it off. And this is a practice, let's see how it works. Not dry enough. Got the first disc that I made, you know, the crappy wood. Put my logo on it. Uh, we're gonna see how it flies now. I've already thrown it two times. I've already broken it two times, so I fixed it two times. So it's been repaired again, and we'll see if we can throw it and see if it doesn't break again. Wind is going right to left, so it, 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 it's tugging over there. It's a windy day. Not bad. I just smacked that thing right into my car. Let's see if it's broke. As you can see, it definitely broke. It was still hanging on for dear life on one side, but I just went ahead and broke it apart because I want you to see how thin this is. I made this super, super thin, and that's probably not a good thing, but that's why it flew so well, um, because it was lightweight and it, it just carried, no problem. Uh, the other disc, obviously, I'm finished with. I'm gonna give it a little bit more wax, uh, but for the most part, it's done. 
Um, this is heavy. It's made out of really, really good solid wood, and it is definitely not as thin. This is more for looks. This is not to throw it. I will never throw this sucker. Anyway, uh, let's move on to building the uh, basket. to start cleaning up but anyway here's what we built now we got to get it leveled out so we can put the basket on it and start putting chains on it and hopefully we'll you know get this thing done all right we're doing a little staining I know you really can't see that but the dark walnut um, looks really good and then there's the basket I stained it up Still got a little bit more stain to do and that's going to be the top that i put a little stain on that green to make it look a little bit more you know natural looking helper number one and helper number two skipping way ahead here i lost a lot of audio on the video so i'm just going to explain kind of how i built this from uh, bottom to the top at the very bottom we got the base we have a chevron pattern in the front that chevron pattern is cut to a 12 degree angle um, in order to get the angle from the base, uh, which is bigger at the base, into a smaller base that up to the top, that's a six degree angle. In order to get that cut, like you would do like a 45 degree frame, just set your miter blade to, or your, the miter saw to 45 degree angle, and then actually uh, turn the blade over six degrees, and then you can make, uh, you know, stacks that go up six degrees over and over and over. Um, on top here and with the basket, you saw how I cut out the circle. Uh, the basket here is 22 and a half degree angle cuts. Basically think of a, a frame as 45 degrees, cut that 45 degrees in half and it's 22 and a half and it gives you a stop sign shape, the octagon. Same thing for this, it's holding onto the chains with a round piece uh, on the top. Uh, I've, got, I've got some poplar wood hanging onto the base of what you've already seen. I laid this out um, just to give it some more sturdiness and some structure and uh, I applied the chains and uh, oh yeah the last but not least I wanted to make this to where it was easy to transport so you've got uh, two by twelves on the bottom and then the smaller one cut to size so it fits perfectly in here and this thing has enough weight that you really don't even have to attach it I could screw this down sorry hang on a second I could screw this down and make it to where it goes nowhere but I want to be able to put this in the back of the truck and things like that without having to lay it down. Um, it is made of wood folks so if you want to go and putt and, and all that stuff and actually use it it's great but if you throw like a 200 foot drive and it's got a big old hyzer on it and it comes down and hits this wood it's still made of wood so putt maybe 50 to 60 feet shots great uh, anything that's gonna have a lot of power, you're gonna you're gonna dent this up a little bit. But I'll shut up. Let's throw some discs. 